What you're looking at here is a 2014 Yamaha gas-driven golf cart. Belonged to the neighbor over there. He has sold his house. They're going to move, start moving in the 21st of this month. People from Canada bought it and they want to make a quick close. So he has no use for this golf cart. Uh, he can, it can't be over there. He uh, bought a place outside of the village so he could have um, a barn built and some stuff like that for more storage. Uh, so he has no use for this golf cart. He bought it like three or four years ago. Um, I believe he paid well over 9000 for it. Um, he tried to sell it, really, kind of tried, not really tried. But anyway, he uh, lowered the price to 82 and then he lowered it again to 78 um, so I'm trying to sell it for him to help him out because uh, I don't really want to store it in my garage either but I have been. I'll give you a little update on it so those of you that might be interested in a good used golf cart here in the villages I believe this one's a good one. I uh, rode it around yesterday. I didn't find a problem with it. Runs about 21 and a half miles an hour. Uh, one of these tires, I don't know which one, I believe has a small flat spot in it. Uh, because um, it pretty much just sat in that garage over there for two years. He never drove it. Um, truthfully, I'm not even sure why he bought it. But uh, he never drove it hardly at all. So it just sat, and when they set like that, you will get a, kind of a flat spot on tires. Now, they may round out with, with constant use. I don't know that. Uh, or you may have to consider putting a couple of front tires on it. I don't know. But the tires themselves have got plenty of tread. I mean, let me get down here. You can see that tires, the tires themselves are, are okay, but you might consider a couple of tires. Brand new tires down here run around forty to sixty dollars, depending on where you get them. These kind of tires, so it's not outrageously high, but it's just something to think about. This is a, a three hundred dollar upgrade. These lights here, see them down there on the side there. Um, that's because here's your turn signals on the front. Nobody can see them in the daytime. They're too small. They're yellow. You just can't see them. So they, people have been putting these on as a safety factor. I kind of like it. I might do it too. I got the turn signal on. When the turn signal's on, they blink white to yellow. See it like that? And down here also. So it makes it easier and safer. Also inside, you have a, a light that blinks. That reminds the driver to shut the turn signal off because on these kind of carts, the turn signals do not shut off automatically. Uh, you can probably have that done, but most people don't. Wheels are aluminum or mag, I'm not sure, but there's a little, can you see the gold in here? All the wheels look like that. I didn't hardly see a scratch on any wheel. It's extremely clean bench buckets um, armrests on both sides <laughs> come down right here that kind of gives you a little bit of safety to stay in there a little bit of back support right here lumbar which is very nice that's your forward and reverse right there small cooler this is a uh, I call it a grocery bag thing, but you can put anything you want to in it. I've got one. Um, when you go to the store or whatever, you take a cart. You can put all your items in this bag here, especially large items to take them home because it's almost impossible to carry something. Uh, but if you only a few things, you can go right in here, basket in there. There's your sand bottle. That's for people to play golf. Sand, the sand bottle. Um, it's got looks like I'm gonna put it down here and show you but here's your uh, rain guards for cold days and when it's raining out it's got a fold down windshield right here which is pretty cool especially when you're on the golf course on a hot day I think you call that collar teal kinda teal and get inside here this here's your, um, what do you call that, information center. 
it's got all kinds of stuff on it a clock and it's got tells you how many miles it is from one point to another if you want to reset it that way and all this and that most people just use it for um, speedometer it'll tell you the outside temperature and stuff but nobody really you know <laughs> pays any attention to that that's your gas gauge down there and the hours the hours on this is 783 hours I talked to a mechanic and the mechanic told me uh, when I called down there I said uh, how long how many hours are these things good for gasoline thing because I don't know he told me with proper care basically I think that means is make sure you take it in once a year and get it serviced the servicing is they check everything uh, but they change the oil it only takes a quart of oil in one of these there is no oil filter and they put in an air filter and a new clutch belt um, and that's what I do it's like a hundred and oh gosh I don't know, if you take it down to the villages golf cart uh, place it's uh, like a hundred and fifty bucks 120 bucks I don't know it's something like that and so I get mine done once a year and I don't worry about it there's also other places that you can have it done at but that's where I go so let's see upgrade wood green dash that's an upgrade uh, two locking glove boxes, one over here, one over there. Believe it or not, you pay extra for that. Mine was fifty dollars, I think, for the two locking locking glove boxes. A matching floor mat. You notice the teal? They actually they make this mat to match this cart. I had mine made too. Here's your clipboard for your scorecard. This here also comes with an AM FM CD overhead storage in here also here and it does work i had it on it works fine overheated voting machines some of them actually started that's the uh, stacy abrams shut that off that was the uh, am side 640 the village's uh, radio network here uh rearview mirror there there and here uh, like I said, it is gas. Here's your um, lights here and all that and also a horn button. I think it's, or maybe it's down here. There it is down there. Mm, golf ball holders, tee holders, uh, turn signals on the inside to remind the driver to shut it off. Um, hand, hand things here for helping you get in and get out and as we get older um, those are nice so there you go he's asking 7800 I'm saying 7800 or if you're interested here in the villages come and look at it um, make an offer on it I'll tell him and um, you know maybe we can work something out let me raise the seat up here for y'all the seat goes up like that and underneath there's the motor Oh, a new battery. That's right. He did tell me he put a brand new battery in it. I don't think there was anything wrong with the old one, but he just put a new one in there so whoever bought this thing wouldn't have to worry about a battery for a long while. Yeah, there's the clutch belt right there, that big wide one. It looks brand new. And matter of fact, the, that little belt right there that operates the starter generator right there, that, uh, that looks brand new. So I think he probably took it down and had it serviced. Let me get the oil dipstick out and take a look. Oh yeah, the oil looks brand new. Can you guys see that? Yeah, the oil looks brand new. I think he took it down and had it serviced. So probably got a new air filter in it, which goes right here. And um, yeah, that there is insulation on the seat. Keeps the seat from getting hot from the motor, and it also. Um, keeps it quieter for you from listening to it uh, so anyway let's uh, let's put one of these sides down so you can see how that looks okay I put the side down so you can get an idea of um, how they look when you put the sides down for a cold day uh, if you got to go somewhere or if it's a rainy day I didn't put them down on both sides I said one side so you get an idea but that's how it looks. You just have the zippers, a little couple little snaps, snap here, snap there, and back here in the back, snap, snap, and 
a snap and it goes down and use and the zipper has a handle on the inside as well as on the outside a tab so you can unzip it from the inside and then you can also zip it or unzip it from the outside I put this down to show you like if it's raining you have groceries let's say in there or in your basket uh, this comes down here it's basically for protecting your golf clubs in the back. It keeps them getting wet, it keeps the rain from getting down in your bag and so on and so forth. But uh, also can be used for other things like, uh, like I said, if you got groceries or something back there, it uh, helps, keeps the rain out of your, uh, your groceries. So that's what it looks like with the sides down. And actually, if you look at the plastic here, the clear plastic, um, other than being kind of dusty, I'm looking at them like it almost looks brand new. It's a little wrinkly from being rolled up, but I'm looking at the clearness of it because as they get older, the uh, clear plastic has a tendency to fade. Um, yeah, it looks pretty good. I won't say it's brand new, but I mean, it, it looks really good. The zippers look really good. I don't see any tears. I don't see any threading coming apart. I mean, if you look at the zipper, let me get this mirror out of the way here. See, look at the zippers coming up through there. Yeah. Stitching, sometimes this, this where am I at here? That stitching there and over in here, it'll start to fray over a period of time. But uh, it looks really good, so I think that's okay. Um, like I said, it uh, seems like it runs all right, and everything looks all right. I did see one little, where's this, one little, let me get this thing open here. I have to undo this snap and kind of move this out of the way so I can show you. It's not a big thing, but I did notice something. On the back of this seat right here, see that? Looks like something's been rubbing on there, and I have no idea what would be over here to rub on that. Unless he's had the seat up doing some something, and I don't know. And I can't imagine that either. I don't know what it'd be rubbing against. But they've had something in there, and it's rubbed right there on that corner. Not a biggie. It can be fixed. Not a biggie. There's a guy that'll come right to your house and fix that. So anyway, that's it, 2014 gasoline powered Yamaha. Everything seems okay. It's fully equipped with what comes to 2014, a few upgrades, especially the seats. Those seats are around 1800 bucks, by the way, to have them put in. So if you're interested, um, hit me up, email me, contact, uh, description box below, and um, Make an offer if you want to. He's asking 78 right now. Um, and I'll pass it on to him. And like I say, maybe you can work something out. So, till then, I'll see you guys on the other side.